Welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide and in this review, we'll look at one of Dyson's latest products, the V12 Detect. The model I have is a V12 Detect Slim Absolute Extra that comes with these tools out of the box, including the light pipe crevice tool, underbed attachment, and torque screw tool. They are the most useful of the bunch. Now the tools you'll get will depend on where you purchase this product, so always check with the merchant before deciding on the tools that come out of the box. Before testing this product, I thought that the V12 was a variation of the V15 with a push-button switch, but it's more than that. This model is a lighter version of the V15, V11, and V10, a middle ground so to speak, between the full-size stick vacuums and the micro 1.5 kg. It offers better ergonomics and overall usability than the larger V15 without compromising on carpet cleaning performance and runtime, 12 micro's biggest weaknesses. I've spent the past few days putting this thick vacuum through a grueling series of tests to see how it compares with other Dyson full-sized options and the results were promising. As I've said in the intro, the Dyson V12 Detect Slim is a middle ground option between the full-sized V15 and the micro 1.5 kg, so it's lighter with better usability, especially in its handheld configuration, which is something of a chore with its full-size counterparts. You can see in the side-by-side -side comparison of the size difference between the V12 and V15. However, compromises will have to be made, namely runtime, dustbin capacity, and power. With the downsize frame, the Dyson V12 only has less than half the capacity of the V15 at 0.35 liters, so consumers will need to empty this more often. It won't have as much power, only maxing out a 58 CFM in the max setting, more than 20% less airflow than the V15. Runtime is another compromise with the downsizing, since the V12 uses a smaller 2500 mAh lithium-ion battery. It will only run for up to 63 minutes with a slim roller attachment. But the 60-minute range is much better than the Micro's 27-minute figure and is better suited inside large homes. Before I continue, I'd like to mention that the V12 and V15 tools are not interchangeable. The V12 sport is smaller, so let's say using the V15 high torque nozzle with the V12 is not possible, unfortunately. The V12 retains many of the same features as the V15, like this interactive LCD screen where consumers can see real-time updates like the runtime left and the amount of debris it has picked up through the piezo sensor that measures debris size. It also has the laser slim fluffy first seen in the V15 that in my opinion is the best in the industry at accentuating dust particles even in dark conditions helping consumers be more efficient with home cleaning. One variance is this push-button switch Dyson has slowly implemented into their product line, starting with the Omniglide. This switch doesn't necessitate squeezing a trigger for longer stretches, which can be tiring on your arm and wrist. Combining that with a lighter frame makes the V12 more appealing for above-floor use. Like the V15, the V12 also has detachable batteries and it comes with two of them, so the 63-minute runtime doubles to over 120 minutes. Plus it's got two chargers, so you can charge both batteries simultaneously. And the beauty of these batteries is that you can charge them detached. Despite the lower airflow, the V12 cleans nearly as well as the V15, at least with surface debris. There weren't any issues during the cleaning experiments on stuff like sand, pet litter, Quaker oats, and quinoa. It got a slightly higher percentage on the sand on hard floor test, Proof that it's got serious agitation. But it uses an older design brush roll similar to the Dyson V8 but a low profile front without the gates. However, the lower clearance means it can snow plow debris, which shouldn't be an issue on hard surfaces because you'll be using the laser slim roller on this surface. It's excellent with picking up surface debris, even with fine coffee grounds, which can be difficult to clean for low airflow stick vacuums. It picked up nearly the same percentage Compare the full-size Dyson stick vacuum options in most of the experiments, which means it's got high-end agitation, so this shouldn't be a deciding factor. However, it's not as good at cleaning embedded sand on carpet, where it only got 94%. There's no way around it. The older brush roll design won't be as good as a chunkier brush roll found in the full-size options with agitation. This excellent surface pickup extends to cleaning hair, especially on hard floors where the V12 picked up in the 90s across the board. One issue with the slim roller is the gap on the axle or hair wraps, so it's something you'll need to clean regularly if you're a pet owner or have to clean long hair daily. Fortunately, this part is detachable, but removing long hair strands can be tedious. However, it won't be as good on carpet 
with a standard brush since it doesn't have any combs. It picked up 100% from 5 to 9 inch strands but struggled with 11 inch hair. Out of the box, the V12 comes with lots of tools. Some of the most useful I got are the light pipe crevice tool, underbed attachment, and torque screw tool. Realize that these tools aren't universally available with all V12 options. You'll have to check first with the merchant what comes in the box before purchasing. The ladder frame and push button switch improve the ergonomics over the bulkier V15 even in its handheld configuration. Add certain attachments like the light pipe crevice tool and this thick vacuum can also double as a car vacuum since it won't be as tiring to use. Even with the downsized battery, the V12 still has decent range, up to 63 minutes with a slim roller and 47 minutes with a standard brush, so that's plenty for daily cleaning tasks. It's especially great on hard floors with a laser slim roller where almost invisible dust pops when the green light illuminates. The detachable battery makes it easy to extend runtime by purchasing extra batteries but I'd suggest getting one with two of them out of the box to maximize this benefit. Another pro is a torque screw tool, which is slowly becoming a staple of newer Dyson stick vacuum products. This tool is one of the best in my opinion at cleaning long hair strands on fabric upholstery or carpet. Nothing seems to wrap around the brush even with this much hair. If you need something to clean pet hair or long human hair on any fabric upholstered surface, this is one of the better options available. One quirk for Dyson products is that large quantities of hair will stick on the inner walls of the dustbin, so you'll need to use your hands to get them out. Lastly for this section is the price. The V12 isn't cheap, but it's not as expensive as the ultra premium V15 variant, and still retains 95% of the performance. But to realize there are compromises with the downsized frame, which we'll look at in the next section. One of the biggest drawbacks of the downsized body is the smaller dustbin capacity. The V12 can only hold up to 0.35 liters of dirt, more than 50% smaller than the V15's capacity of 0.77 liters. With the horizontally aligned dustbin, there's no way around this issue. One way of lightening the frame is shortening the dustbin, and the smaller capacity is an unfortunate consequence. This variant doesn't have the V15's latest high torque tool with adjustable gates and combs, but only an older designed brush roll derived from the V8. It has above average performance, but it has its limitations, particularly with deep cleaning carpet and cleaning long hair strands. This cordless vacuum is noisy, ranging between 70 and 80 decibels. The 70 decibel figure is bearable, but the noise levels in the max setting won't be for long stretches. Lastly is the price. While the V12 is cheaper than the V15, it's still an expensive option compared to other stick vacuums, but I think it offers better value than a V15 given its performance and ergonomic improvements. It won't deep clean carpet as well as a V15, but its lighter frame and push button switch makes it more bearable to use, especially in its handheld configuration. Sure, there will be compromises as with any downsized stick vacuum, particularly with runtime, power, and capacity. But the benefits of the lighter frame and push button switch outweigh these negatives, especially if you're using this for cleaning hard surfaces. If you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. It goes a long way in growing this channel and reaching out to more consumers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new reviews like this and I have a bunch lined up. Links are in the description below for more information about the Dyson V12 including a detailed review on my blog. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.